Assalamualaikum and hi students. Chapter 4 Linear Programming In this chapter, there are two subtopics 4.1 System of Linear Inequalities and 4.2 Solving Problem Involving System of Linear Inequalities Lecture 1 of 3 4.1 System of Linear Inequalities these are the learning objective 4.1 a represent the system of linear inequalities graphically 4.1 b identify the feasible region 4.1 c determine the system of linear inequalities defined by the feasible region in this video we are going to discuss on how to represent the system of linear inequalities graphically so student, for introduction, guess the amount of money that Azrul and Haris have in their wallets at any particular time. Consider the following expressions. So here we have five situations that we need to consider. So for the first thing, we need to identify the variable. How to identify the variable? Let X be the money of Azrul. So now we consider X for Azrul's money. Then let Y be the money of Haris. And Y is for Haris money. So for the first statement, we have here together they have exactly 50 ringgit in their wallets. So when the statement said together, it means we need to plus X plus Y. So here we have exactly equals 50. So we can write as x plus y equals to 50. Then the second statement, again we have together, they have more than 50 ringgit in their wallets. So student, how to write for the second statement? So we can write like this x plus y greater than 50. Next, for the third statement, again, we have together. It means X plus Y. They have less than 100 ringgit. Okay? So, we can write like this. X plus Y less than 100. Next, for the fourth statement, they have at least 50 ringgit each in their wallets. So, for the fourth statement, it didn't say anything about together but it said about each means that x and y works independently so how to write for the false statement we should write like this x greater than or equals to 50 then y greater than or equals to 50 because the statement said each so we need to write it independently it is not the same as x plus y greater than or equals to 50 okay student the symbol is greater than or equal because of the statement said at least so for the last statement we have they have at most 50 ringgit each in their wallet so again we need to write x and y in the Independently. x less than or equals to 50 and y less than or equals to 50. Next, let's look at about notations in inequalities. Inequalities involve one of the four notations. So here we have inequality less than. So, what is the notation for inequality less than? The notation or the symbol will be like this. And then, for inequality greater than, the notation will be like this. And then, for the third inequality, we have less than or equal to, in other words, at most, or not greater than, or not more than, in other words, we say maximum, the inequality will be like this. 
And then for the last inequality, we have greater than or equal to or at least or not less than or minimum. The notation or the symbol will be like this. Now, let's look at about example 1. Write inequalities for the statements below. So, for A, we have Y is less than X. So, how to write for A? So, we just write Y less than X. Next, for B, Y is not less than X. That means Y can be equal to X or Y can be greater than X. So, we just write Y greater than or equal to X. For C, y is greater than twice the value of x. So, y greater than twice the value of x, which is 2x. For D, the sum of x and y is less than 7. So, for sum, we denote by x plus y less than 7. For E, the maximum value of y is x. So, we have y, the notation for maximum is like this, less than or equal to x. For f, we have two ways in order to write a statement for f. So, for the first way, okay, we have x exceeds y by at least 3. So, here if x exceeds y, that means x is bigger than y. When x is bigger than y, so x can minus y by at least 3. So, let's look at the notation for at least. Notation for at least is greater than or equal to 3. So, just write down 3. And then, the second way to write for this statement is like this. x at 6y. That means x is bigger than or equals to y by at least 3. So, we just plus so, there are two ways in order to write the statement for f. So, we can write like first way, x minus y greater than or equal to 3 or x is greater than or equal to y plus 3. So, for the last statement, we have 2y minus 3x is less than 4. So, we just write 2y minus 3x less than 4. Okay, student? Hope you understand. Next, let's look at about plane in a coordinate system. First, a line divides a plane into two half called a half plane. Then second, a vertical line divides it into left and right half planes. So here, let's see the first diagram. So in the first diagram, we have here vertical line. Okay, let's denote here as A. Okay, so for the right half plane, we have X is greater than A. And then for the left half plane, we have X is less than A. Okay, students, so you should understand what it means by right half plane and what it means by left half plane. Okay, the vertical line divide the plane into two halves, which is right half plane. And then left half plane. For the right half plane, we have x is greater than a. And then for the left half plane, we have x is less than a. Then number 3 here, we have a non-vertical line divides it into upper and lower half planes. So let's see the second diagram here. We have non-vertical line. This is non-vertical line. And then this non-vertical line divide half plane into upper and lower half plane. Then student, you should know that a line also divide the plane into half plane when it is horizontal line. Let's say here we have coordinate system and then we have the horizontal line. It is the same as vertical line. But the vertical line divides the plane in x coordinate. But the horizontal line divides the plane in y coordinate. So let's say here we have B. 
Okay. For the upper part, okay, it denotes as Y greater than B. And then for the lower part, we have Y is less than B. So you should know that instead of vertical line, non-vertical line, we also have the horizontal line. So the horizontal line also divide the plane into upper and lower. Okay, student. So you should remember this tree diagram. Now let's look at about graphing linear inequalities. Solid line or full line we denote as this line, and broken or dashed line so like this. Excluded boundary lines are shown as broken lines, and included boundary lines are shown as solid lines. Number one, we have for y greater than mx plus c or y greater than or equal mx plus c, the region is above the line. So here you can see that here we have y is greater and here is y is greater than or equal. It means that this is excluded boundary line and this is included boundary line. Okay. So, let's see the first diagram here. Okay. So, here we have the y is greater than mx plus c. It's just greater than. Did not have any equal sign. So, it is broken line. BL. Okay. Broken line. And then, the gradient for this linear graph is less than 0. So, it is negative. Okay. So, the region is above the line. This is above the line. Next, for the second diagram here, we have solid line where we denote as SL for solid line. Okay, because of the inequalities here is greater than or equal. Then, the gradient for this linear graph is greater than zero, so it is positive gradient. So, we need to choose the region is above or upper the linear graph. Number 2 for y less than mx plus c or y less than or equals mx plus c the region is below the line. So again let's see for the first diagram here. Okay, We have linear graph which is the linear graph is y less than mx plus c. So this is excluded boundary line when it is excluded boundary line so it is broken line okay then the gradient for this linear graph is greater than zero it is positive gradient so when it is below the line so it is here okay next for the second diagram here we have y is less than or equals to mx plus c so, it is solid line. We denote as SL. And then the gradient for this linear graph is negative gradient. Then we need to choose the region is below the line. So, this is below the line. Okay, student. So, here, what is the important thing that you need to know is which one is above the line and which one is below the line. So, for above the line, Okay, above the line is greater than or greater than or equal and below the line it is less than or less than or equal. Okay, student, so you should know these two or you should differentiate between these two so that you choose the correct region. The second thing that you need to know is you need to ensure that your Y is on left hand side and it is positive. Okay. So you need to ensure that your Y is on left hand side and it is positive. What if your Y is on left hand side and it is negative? You need to rewrite your Y so that it is on left hand side and it is positive. Okay. For example, you have equation like this. 
4 minus y greater than x. So here, your y is on left hand side, but it is negative. So you need to rewrite the inequalities. So it will be like this, 4 greater than x plus y. But here, your y is right hand side, right. So, x plus y less than 4. So here we have your y is on left hand side and it is positive. Why we need to rewrite your equation student? It is because you need to choose the correct region first and it also can avoid you to do any careless mistake. So you should ensure that your y is on left hand side and it is positive. If it is not, you need to rewrite your inequalities.